Welcome to this series where we are playing Reforged Eden 2 Beta for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we did two things. We started the survey of the habitable systems. Also, I started work on getting the resources for the Hydra. So just to give you an update of where we are. What I've done off camera is I kind of went through and sorted out some of this minor stuff here. And I got a bit carried away with the graphite, but we got loads of graphite. And you can see I've kind of made a reasonable dent in all the general resources. The one area where we are a little bit shaky is Sathium. So what we're going to be needing to do is look for Sathium. And of course, what we are going to need is um, some plasma converters. I've got quite a lot of those. We need rocket thrusters, which I've got no idea where we're going to get from two large upgrade kits and 24 large optronics bridges which i don't have any at all at the moment it's like we got visitors at the moment but um that's okay so that is going to be where we're going to be working towards now just to give you an update of what i've been doing on the planet is i came down here and there was one of these bastions that was right next to this estuary so i did the usual thing of going underground and actually um, kind of attacking it and I was able to extract uh, or recover a couple of turrets so to give you an, an idea of what that is you can see I've got some aluminium powder carbon substrate sarcosium alloy um, some more superconductors some coolant and some xeon so we're just going to shove that into our main input area there and of course we're I don't know why I keep putting this in trade goods, but <laughs> so overall things are looking up now. Just to show you, uh, where is it? I say I haven't got any rocket capability. I've got. I don't even know what they look like. What I do have is where's the? I can't find where's the platinum. We got 65 platinum ingots and we got 1,439 satium. And you can see I've got 18 large optronics bridges. So we're well on the way to um, um, for the optronics bridges. We, we can, I think I did a quick calculation and with the gold we've got, if we could probably make the rest of the optronics bridges, but I don't want to do that just at the moment. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up into space Oh, the other thing I've also done is I mined out quite a lot of Promethium. And what I've done now is, where's the loot and junk box? You can see I've put all the Promethium I've mined into here. And I've got a large, oops, um, I thought I'd done them all. Okay, um, we're going to... What I'm doing is, is turning all this Promethium into these dual fuel cells simply because um, I am going through quite a lot of fuel now so what we're going to do is get up into space and what we're going to be doing now could be a little bit iffy it could go quite badly wrong actually because well I'll show you once we get up into space so here we are we're up in space I bring up the system map um, or it's one of these I think it's it's a moon it's not actually oh it's Thorian moon over here you can see it says this ice and I'd really like to have a go at the ice but it says difficulty hard deep so what we are going to do is take a look at that <laughs> and this is where I we kind of arrive and get blown out out of the area so as I say, this is going to be a little bit high risk. But if you don't risk anything, you don't accomplish anything. Well, it looks like we've got lots of friends. And no ice asteroid. Okay. That's Thorian. It's the moon I'm interested in. Over there. Because that's where it's saying that we've got to head for We've got a destroyed ghast over there. Very, very tempted. Anyway, we're going to head for the moon first because the ice is the priority. 
The problem is it could be a complete red herring and we're just here wasting our time. But if we don't try, we won't find out. I think the moon... Um, let's have a look here. I think Thorin itself has got Estrum on it. It's got safety. It says it's got safety. So maybe we will um, swoop down on the moon, see if there's ice on the moon. Um, which I don't think there will be. Um, we got, but we'll give it a go and then maybe we'll flip over to the planet and see if we can get the um, the Sathium. So here we are. We're just about to break through the atmosphere of the three in moon. Um, I've, got to say, I've got no idea what to expect. Got found a crash capital vessel. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Right, it says we've got three blocks of ice here. Oh, it's right in. Um, well, we are friendly with the Polaris, so I'm wondering we're going to need to take a chance. I mean, a very large deposit of ice would be really, really nice. All the Promethium deposit. Let's just check our... Whoops, no. I'm just going to put down here. So I only want one... Um, Polaris, so we found a drone base, and these are mining operations. Um, what I am going to do is we're just going to put down next to the ice. Um, I just want to check is uh, Polaris. Mine or on there, yeah, minus 50. None if your reputation is honoured or better. Great. Uh, that means we can't mine the resources. Otherwise, if we do, we'll lose minus 50. Uh, that's great. Um, so all the ice that's on the planet is round Polaris territory. Um, I wonder if it's going to be worth upsetting them but at the same time I don't want to upset them because we're if we do that we're thing but what I am going to try is if there's ice here um I'm going to go and check out the mining operation see if we can because, I mean, I'll be completely up front. If I've got to pay for ice, I will pay for it. Uh, I think this is the entrance to the mining operation. Let's see. Let me just see. I just want to check again. Uh, this is there. Three minus three and opening a container six thousand. None if reputation it can wonder if we could get our reputation up to honoured. So the moral of the story is we should be working harder to make up. Hey, hello guys. Um I think this is the bot that we need to talk to. Watch your step kit, okay, yeah. Oh, oh we, we, we take auto miners. Okay. Right, we can sell, we've got auto miners, but I'd have to go back to the ship and get them. Actually, what else have you got? Um, C. I don't want to make two trips. Oops. Okay, I've just jumped into a hole. Well, he's, you, he buy biodiesel. I've got quite a lot of biodiesel. And here buy auto miner cores as well. Um, but he sells graphite. Okay. It's interesting. He also buys portable work lights. That's a new one. Um, okay, let me just get back to the ship. Right, let's see what we can trade. 
Um, he said portable work lights. Let's have a look at those. Um, do, do, do. Input. Right, we're going to make 10 of those. Okay, it looks like we've got hostiles coming in. Did we get anything for that? Maybe if I kill a few hostiles or something like that, it will make them a little bit more sociable. Trade goods. Um, we're going to sell the auto miner cores. Nutrient solution. Uh, fuel and oxygen. Well, I don't want to sell all my biofuel. Um, because it's useful as a backup. So we're... Just come here. Okay. Well, sell the three there. Um, eight hundred and seventy-five. Now I'm just going to be very interested in. Okay, we're out of range of the. Nakara. Input where are we put in the fuel and oxygen. Okay. Just make sure because I don't want to make a load of portable work lights and then find out that um, they don't want them. Right, let me just Oops. And by turn. That's not bad actually. I mean it doesn't take much to make them. Okay, we just need help. Let's see if we can Uh you'll be pay also serious about offering help, let's see by working off the back. Books, that's fine. Um, not the ones you use on the ship. Let's say you need a specialized one time. Regret to offer you our, your help once you need help. Our current problem is we need a replacement equipment for our laser drills. We're not the ones to use it. Um, okay, so that uh, that's mining equipment. We can't manufacture anything like that. Let me just check something. Supplies, portable lights. Right, what I'm going to do is we're going to run the risk of upsetting the Polaris. I'm going to input. What we're going to do is I mean, we've got loads of these, so we're going to make about 40 of those. And this is where things could go wrong very, very quickly. Right, we're just going to, right, we're just going to jump in the auger. Um, power on. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, so minus 392 Polaris. That means they are going to be really... Well, they're still friendly. But... Um, it's not going to be worth the effort, is it? Um, I don't want them going hostile on me. How much ice did we get from that? Uh, let me just see, Auger. Well, we got 73 ice from it. It's probably not really justified, but 
it's going to be helpful. Um, crash that. And we're still friendly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we can take a liberty, but I don't want to take too much of a liberty. So we're going to have to try and find some ice somewhere else, which is a pain in the neck because it's, I think the game said that there's only three on this planet. Anyway, it, it's good to know that if I do do some sneaky mining, um, we'll be okay. Uh, let me just see. Uh, oops. Come into here. Yeah, we've only got, there's only the three ice deposits on this planet and they're all around the Polaris. Right, so what I'm going to do is, well, I can have something to eat first. Uh, fuel and oxygen. Food and meds. Uh, whack out a pizza. Go and get some oxygen. And. Um, just to round this off, we're going to go and sell the 40 work lights. I mean, they should still want to trade with me. I don't think there are any other traders in this base, but we'll have a look, quick look round, just in case. I think, no, because this, this is the only building, isn't it? Okay, hello, matey. Uh, looking to buy. What's out? 40 of that. That gives us another 4,000. I mean, we're going to need a lot of money anyway. So much for my cash have I got now? We got two hundred and eight thousand. Um, because once we find someone to trade, we're gonna need that money to buy the components to be able to make the hydra. Right. What we're gonna do is we've kind of visited here, this is um all we can do. And we're gonna get up into space. Bye bye, Polaris. Um, yeah, I mean, we got drone baits, what we got here, we got Xerox Tower, we got Polaris Mining Operation down there. Anyway, I was just going to get up into space. Right, what we're going to do is head for Thurian. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of resistance around us, but uh, we got a destroyed gas there. Right, we're going to head for Thorium because we might as well see if we can get some Sathium. So I'll see you once I get there. Okay, guys, welcome back. We, we are arrived at the planet Thorium. There's a submerged tank here. <laughs> and we kind of... Um, had a fairly close encounter with a um, uh, Xerox frigate, but which kind of kind of took our shields down a little bit, but not that much. Right, so we got six Sathium deposits on the planet. We've got an engine compartment, engine compartment. We've got a submerged tank up there, um, which is kind of northeast. We got an abandoned bunker. <laughs> um, I think, well, we got to find the Sathium deposits. This is what I'm looking for. Um, let me just see. We got a load of stuff here, which is radar signatures and heat signatures. So I'm just going to fly across the planet. Silicon, iron, great. Uh, right, we're just going to fly across the planet and see what we can find. Okay, welcome back. Uh, right, another ping. I found a large Sathium deposit, which I definitely want. The terrain's not particularly that friendly. We've also got a submerged tank. So what I'm going to try and do is we're going to try and put down here... So we can flip to the 
um, the Merc X, the MX5. So uh, let's drop down here, and we'll go and find out what the environment outside is like. Actually, I'm just gonna repair the assault rifle. Uh, I mean, it's not fully consumed, but not expecting great loot from the. Oh great, we've got acid rain. Great, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, but this isn't the most friendly of planets. Where is the? That's the large Sathium deposit. I think the. Um, I've got a bit of a case of. Too many markers on here. Right, the submerged tank is there. We'll just mark it so I can see it amongst all the other multitude of markers here. It's just there. It's only 400 meters away, but um, units away. But there is a Gatling aerodrome in here, so we'll, we'll take him down. Uh, hello, guys. Oops. Yeah, not much from that, but that's okay. I know this is very much bread and butter gameplay, but sometimes that's what you've got to do. Nothing else where we'll get some meat. Or no, no meat. Don't get as much meat as you used to. Wait, where's where's your body? Where's your body? There he is. Hey, stop scuttling around. Aha, <laughs> got you. Should have used the shotgun in the front the first place. Uh, Merc Harvest Controller. Got some improved light armor. What? Oh, the, obviously the rain's coming through the roof. Um, a little bit of Neo. Um, yeah. Wow, that's nice to do it in one jump. Okay, right, well, what we're going to do is jump into here. Busters are on anyway. What oh, we got to. I will get back to the Makara and then we will find that Safium deposit. Because it'd be really good to be able to pick up all the safium we need on this planet and then that will really push forward the hydra uh, i don't think we will just top up the oxygen i'm gonna split the difference with the fuel i must have left some extra fuel in here okay Right, just get down here. Shotty. Um, just heal up very quickly. Pick up the oxygen as well on the process. Oops. And we will find the... Busters on. An abandoned bunker. The Sathium is over there. So we've got an abandoned bunker and an abandoned mine. Um, let's see if we can. There's lots and lots of drones around here, so we're certainly going to need the Makara on Overwatch to protect the ship. Uh, oops. Uh, 
Um, oh, it's not going to be that great, is it? Um, okay, we're going to have to... <laughs> we're going to have to put the... So any problem with large capital vessels is getting it in there. I get the feeling we're trying to put down a water as well. That's okay. The ship's big enough to be get its feet wet. Okay, and we're just turn the thrusters off. Go and pick up the auger. And work. Turn the power on. What's that there? Oh, the abandoned mine is just there. We did shoot down a drone. There it is. We'll go and get the drone. You use my ammunition, so I'm entitled to the loot. And not that it'd be... Well, we got some fuel cells. Oops. Um, where's the Sathium deposit? You lying to me, game. You told me that there's a Sathium deposit here. There it is. Right, we're going to have to kind of, I mean, vertical. Wow, oops, crashed the ground to the ground. <laughs> right, we're going to use the usual technique. Just drill straight down. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite liking this with respect to the Ol Olga. It just seems to be the way forward wow we're doing pretty good here actually um there's a lot of it right what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to um mine out all the sathium and i'll be right back <clears throat> okay welcome back it's taken quite a long time to actually mine out all this sathium but i think it's going to be worth it you can see that we've got about 10 percent left so i'm just kind of moving around uh, kind of tidying up the last bits and pieces now I'll be completely up front um, things got a little bit tedious while I was actually doing this so what I actually did was is I've put in we come to devices down the bottom I have put in another C, um, improved CPU extender now it hasn't um, fixed the whole problem you can see we've now got up to 13,177 so we've got 88 percent efficiency but what it does mean is that um, I'm not overloading the power anymore you can see that um, it's staying at about 59 60 percent so so I think I can live with the fact that we haven't got 100 percent efficiency anyway I'm just going to finish off a little bit more like that and then we'll get back to the Makara and I'll show you how much I've kind of um, Sathium I've actually picked up. We'll just do this little bit here. Just using the vertical mining position. I think that's enough. Um, whoops, uh, ship's rolling. Get back to here. Zap into here. Like that. Well, so I just turn off all the power. Oops. Okay. And the power off. It is docked, isn't it? Um, just make sure. So just to show you, uh, we've got uh, all the harvest control to shove it all in there. And you can see I've got 
up nearly 5,000 Safium from that single deposit. If you're interested where the core is, it's under this grill here. This is like a kind of a recess, which I found. Let's just put the grill back on again. Yeah, so there's like a kind of a grill here. I think it's actually kind of saying that it's for a shield, but considering the fact that we haven't got 100% CPU, I think putting a shield on this could be a little bit interesting. I could probably put in another core there, but I'm using up my small optronics bridges, so I don't really want to do that. So the thing we will do now is come into here, the car input, come into here. Where's the Cetium? There. Well, tell it to me. Oh, in about 700. That should, that should do it. Now I'm running kind of, so I've virtually run out of time on this video. So while I was actually mining, it always gives you plenty of time to think. But I am wondering whether there's going to be a possible mileage on maybe um, mining the Estrum on this planet as well, which I'll probably do off camera. The other thing that I'm thinking is we've got an abandoned mine and abandoned bunker here. Whether it's going to be worth fighting our way through these just to try and get some possibility of finding some rare resources. There's also quite a lot down there. We've also got a level three Polaris trade station down here, which I'd certainly would like to visit. In fact, I think what I will do, um, because I've, I've going to have no idea how long this is actually going to last is we're going to go to the Polaris trade station, which means we've got to go south. Now, obviously I'm going to be flying this, it's not, we've had a large Promethium deposit. Yeah, I think we are going to go all the way down to there. We're just going to tag it. And what I'll do is I'll see you once we get to that Polaris trade station. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are just coming up on the Polaris trade station. There's some other buildings tucked in here as well. Um, we've got a building which I can't doesn't seem to be identified over there. Um, we've got a, an arcology over there. Let me just see. We'll go there. I think we under attack. <laughs> um, reload. Right, I'm just going to come this way. Um, we need some food. Food emits. Whoops. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the arcology because we did get some quite good quality stuff from there. Yeah. Well, because there was the traders just inside the front door, wasn't there? Okay. Um, duck guys, I'm just about to land on top of you. Now, we're only here to buy stuff for the Yes, the three traders just here. He will buy mechanical components and electronics. We could sell some of that, but if I do that, I'll do that off camera. Um, and here's your buddy. Where's the third one? I'm sure I got some good stuff from these guys. Dual fuel cells, oxygen bottles, water containers. That was it? I'm sure it was. Um, let's have another quick look. Wait, stop pushing me. I've actually got a tribal furnishing which I picked up um, from somewhere. So we could sell that and make a little bit more money. Just gonna have a walk around. I'm sure there was another guy. Oh, get out of the way. I'm sure there was another trader in here. 
that actually gave me some pretty good stuff. Or maybe I'm getting confused. Um... Um, then again, maybe not. No, so it seems there's only the two traders here, but well, I will come back and sell off the miscellaneous stuff there off camera, mainly so that we can make some more money, because we are going to need a lot of money. And what I'm going to do now is we're just going to head over to the trader and see what we can see if we can get what we want from here. I uh, wonder what that building is over there. I think those are mining buildings, aren't they? Okay. So we're uh, just going to get into here. Um, oh, right. <clears throat> We've got Bertrand Arms here. Let's see what he's got to offer us. Um, this is just standard stuff um yeah not it's the market cafe um spices salt got quite a lot of salt that i can sell we're not actually in range of the so i I can sell the salt as well. And um, I think we got Mr. Shadow Guy over here. He will buy electronics. Oh, come on, guys. One of you's got to sell some good quality stuff. Is it you? I'm here for a drink. Ah, great. So it looks like I'm going to need to kind of um, just do some general trading here. And I suppose that actually comes about... No, we got Matey in the corner here, haven't we? Got him. Advanced Federation split night no, jetpack. No, okay. We do have a trade terminal here. And I've got a cargo I can drop off as well. So it looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of trading here um, off camera. But um, we're not going to get the resources unless I've missed a trader. Anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. What I will do is all the trading off camera simply because it's just going to involve a lot of running around, dropping off various components to various of these guys. But we need you're going to need a great big pile of money in order to be able to um, buy what we want when we cut the time comes for us to buy what we want. And the other thing is, I uh, think about, on, and I'm open to suggestions whether you think it's worthwhile, maybe doing an abandoned mine or a bunker just to see if we can get some rare resources from this area here. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.